is or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. MAV TV, Motorsports Network. If it has an engine, it's on MAV TV. Catch all the action from the mud slinging Lucas Oil short course off road races. The excitement of the Lucas Oil late model dirt series. Thousands of horsepower pulling tons of steel. Watch it all on the only network dedicated to motorsports MAV TV, Motorsports Network. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the high school softball right here on Hometown 24 as the Ledger County Central Cougars have traveled over from Whitesburg to meet the Lady Patriots right here at the Harley Combs softball field right here at the junction of 160 and 80. Glad you're with us right here on Hometown 24. The game will probably be about... Uh, Seven, eight, ten minutes away from getting started here. Teams have had their warm-ups uh, getting ready here shortly for the National Anthem, and we'll be able to get started. Look for a great game today uh, out of both of these teams. McK Johnson will be on the mound for Letcher Central, McK Johnson, and also uh, Kennedy Sandlin will be on uh, the mound for not Central. Both of them uh, pitch well and looking for a good game out of them. Weather, just perfect for softball, you might say. Mid-60s. Uh, we do have some cloud cover over. Uh, expect it to stay that way, uh, but uh, perfect temperature, wind will not be a problem for the game in any way because uh, really it's very, very light breeze and really just nice and uh, it should be pleasant for the players on the field and the spectators as well. We uh, will take a quick break here. We'll come back, do some lineups uh, for Not Central and Letcher just as soon as the anthem gets going here and, and we'll have the players uh, take the field and you're going to have great softball 
right here on this Thursday afternoon. Stay with us, Hometown 24. The bats will start when we come back. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. MAV TV, Motorsports Network. If it has an engine, it's on MAV TV. Catch all the action from the mud slinging Lucas Oil short course off road races. The excitement of the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Thousands of horsepower pulling tons of steel. Watch it all on the only network dedicated to motorsports MAV TV, Motorsports Network. Welcome back to the softball field right here at Knott County Central. I'm Dave Adams along with Devin Combs bringing you the broadcast this evening on this nice softball day, Knott County Central uh, taking the field. We should be getting started very, very shortly here as uh, the pitcher Sandlin will warm up and we should be ready to go. Abigail McDougal will lead off for uh, Letcher Central. Batting first, batting second will be Chloe Wamper, Autumn Wamper, bat third, and Johnson, the pitcher, of course, will clean up there. So, uh, Devin, we look at these two schools and look at their lineup share. They, this is the first time they've met this year, but seemed like last season uh, very competitive, and uh, you really get a good game out of both of these teams when they meet. It's it's the rival in the district, the 53rd. Absolutely. We talked to the coach of Knott Central before the game, and he mentioned that these teams often trade during out, throughout the season. Last year, uh, Letcher won here at Knott, and then Knott won at Letcher, so these yeah. teams tend to trade <laughs> with each other quite a oh, bit. Oh, yeah. McDougal uh, getting ready to go. Look for speed out of out of her. She seems quick in warm ups. I've seen her uh, moving around quite a bit. Looks like she had good speed. We'll see how it goes. As Allen gets ready on the mound, and the Patriots will start out with a low pitch down below the knees for ball one. Not central outfield. Straight away, normal play. 
Salen getting ready for pitch number two, and there's the ball hit to the short. That's Baker. Can't pick it up, and Baker will start the game out uh, with an error. Normal play for her in a great arm, and uh, just yeah. couldn't pick it up, Devin. The, the base paths in softball so short, they're able to get the base so fast. Any, the slight mistake just causes a, 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 yeah. a player on base. McDougal uh, on first, and here's the bunt. Picked up by the third baseman, got one out, and a good job there by Hall of not, not Central, the third baseman going down and picking it up and making a good throw to first. Yeah, very quick. Yep, one out. Madugan will go down to second. Wamper laid that bat down and did a nice job on the bunt. Third batter up. The other Wamper, Autumn. She takes a ball one as it was low and inside. Coach of uh, Letcher let us know they have, they've been having Wamplers over there for a long time. A lot of good athletes there yeah. in the family. Ground ball, and that's in the gap. And uh, Letcher's going to get on the board as Abigail McDougal gets in, and that's their first run. They won out and one run in. Nice piece of hitting there. Hit the opposite way yeah. and found the gap. Pitcher coming up, Michaela Johnson, and she is a very strong athlete, yes. Devin. Bats in the cleanup spot, and you know that usually means that they're your best, your best slugger on the team. Absolutely. Takes the hit and is through the gap. Hall will make the play in left, get it back in to Gayhart, second baseman. Nice piece of hitting there. Gracie McDougal will come up. We have... Uh, a lot of sisters or cousins oh, yeah. won on this team. <laughs> Eastern Kentucky, is a, it's a family area, and there's a lot of families in this team. Absolutely. Runner at second and first for the Cougars. One out, first, top of the first here on Softball Thursday. Sandlin, good pitch, gets it up high, but it'll be no plays. It goes near the camera man. Quick Hold eye it. out there uh, on the Hometown 24 van just outside <laughs> of the uh, visiting team dugout. <laughs> Owen one's the count. Sandlin will get prepared for pitch number two coming this way. Best glove in the ballpark out there. Yep. <laughs> no doubt about it. Here's the pitch. The bunt's down, but it's going foul, and it'll be Owen two. And uh, big uh, McDougal will come back and have one more try. Not counting the in and out here. Yes, they do. Uh, yeah, they right. need to play desperately. And a base hit for the Cougars will give them some airway, no doubt. That one's outside. Uh, looked close, but a tad I'll, outside. I like that pitch. Try to draw a string, uh, swing out over. You got, you got the 0-2 counts. Kind of a pitcher's choice there. Yes, it is. Uh, you get an 0 2 count. You want to gamble a little bit if you're the pitcher. Count goes even, two and two. And Man, we, runner's going to advance. Yeah, yeah. Johnson uh, sneaks on over and gets a base. Well, she was quicker than a hiccup right there. Yeah, I mean, you got to be focused and a nice play by the Cougars to advance. Batter back in the box. Here we go. That's going to be Pop. Baker will have a shot at this, and that'll be two outs. And uh, big play. No at, opportunity to tag there for anybody. Yeah, Reagan Anderson will come up. Six batter in this inning for the Cougars. One run, a base hit would be big for her, and a strikeout would be huge for the Patriots. Oh, yes. Ball's low, and a they're going to give second base up. 0-1. Oh Top of the first, you two see, outs. You can see their runners on second and third. Nice pitch. This pitch is going to be live. Hall goes to first and makes the play. Cougars will get one here at the top of the first. The Lady Patriots will be coming to bat. Mountains come to life. Rivers and lakes welcome you back. 
The Open Road Calls. Kentucky is full of outdoor adventures and charming towns right here at home. Stay close. Go far. Plan your getaway at KentuckyTourism.com. Wearing a mask cuts your risk of COVID by up to 65%. Your mask shields you, people at high risk, and essential workers and businesses. I wear my mask to protect my patients. I'm a teacher. I wear my mask for my students. I wear my mask to keep my customers safe. It's simple, it's the right thing to do, and it works. I may look healthy, but I'm battling brain cancer. I wear my mask for you. Please wear your mask for me. Getting ready for the bottom of the first as uh, the Cougars will be in the field here. They're taking their warm-ups, getting ready. And uh, Gayhart, Kylie Gayhart is going to lead the Lady Patriots off. Allie Hall will bat second. And the pitcher, Sandlin, Kennedy Sandlin, will be third. What a perfect day, Devin. Uh, yeah, not much even. wind, uh, sun not a factor on pop-ups or anything, and uh, and low 60s, yep. hard to beat. Good overcast evening, but with no threat of rain on yeah. the lookout here. I think we're supposed to have two or three dry days, to be yep. quite honest. I think yeah. we're supposed to be dry until early next week. I'm not a meteorologist, so <laughs> don't take my word for it, but, but you know. that's according to Google Weather. <laughs> You know, shares are capable of popping up at any time, you might say. You never know about them. Infield will meet. Gayhart will get ready to step in. Kylie Gayhart, a multi-sport athlete. Absolutely, and it looks like Johnson uh, is stretching, getting ready to go. Johnson the ace yep. for Letcher Central. And she gets her last stretch in, and Gayhart's in the box, and we're ready to go here in the bottom of the first. Gayhart, a little tap to second. Cougars will make that play, and it'll be an easy one out to get started. Allie Hall will come up. Nice Quick play. Quick one there, yeah. Yeah. Hall stepping in, Cougars outfield straight away. Uh, they're in somewhat. They pulled in a little bit. Strike one to Hall. Good pitch there. Yeah. Seemed like those pitches in softball around the letter seem to be a little tougher to handle than yeah. the pitches waist to knee. Smaller strike zone with the girls. Yeah. Second pitch is right on target. Outside corner, letters high. Fletcher off to a good start here. Yeah. Oh, two's the count. You may see a higher outside pitch here out of Johnson with the count 0 and 2. Hall still in there. That pitch is outside. It gets away from the catcher. One and two the count. One nothing Cougars. Bottom of the first. Hall will step back in. Johnson on the mound. Gets ready. Pitch coming. Fouled back. They'll keep the at-bat alive, and uh, they're making their work for it in here a little bit now. Yeah. I, you know, Johnson with this 1-2 count, you may see her. She just came with a off-speed pitch down the middle. A little high, but uh, Hall could not get her bat on it. And that one's outside, and that was the pitch I was looking for to throw yeah. the, the last time to see if Hall would chase. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. one nothing score. That pitch is low, and now the count goes full. Johnson ahead 0-2 oh and, yeah. and runs it full. Coach Sandlin likes this out of his hitter right here. Yep. A lot of discipline on the plate. Look for Johnson to bring the heat straight down the pike this time with a 3-2 count. And she does, and it's fouled back by Hall. Hall battling her and Johnson. A little bit of a yeah. war right now early. The uh, 
battle of attrition here in the second at bat. Kennedy Sandlin on deck, the pitcher for the Patriots. Johnson's pitch, nice pitch at yeah. the knee, low outside corner, and she gets it done. Two down as Kennedy Salen will come up. And we knew that Johnson was going to come out strong early. She's the ace pitcher for Letcher, so you know she's going to start. Try, she's going to try to get these girls out as quick as possible, try to go three up, three down, and give her team a chance to get back in here and start scoring again. That looked good at the corner. And uh, knee high, and that's Johnson's pitch so far in the game. She's usually yeah. used that outside corner, and she likes the knee high fastball. Johnson, ready to go, and there's a foul ball, and uh, it missed us. Go over there, yeah. But, Going to the count now. You know, Sandlin, uh, not too far from us. Probably 10 or 12 feet, Devin. We yeah. could have jumped up and made that. Well, Josh could have jumped yeah, up. Yeah, he could have made, made that play. play. No doubt. <laughs> pitch coming. Nice pitch. And that's going to do it as Salen goes down. And the Patriots don't hit the scoreboard this in. And the Cougars, one to nothing after one. Yep. We'll be back right after. You don't need this on the field. You need skill. My friend looks at me and she goes, you're having a stroke. If you're having a stroke, hopefully someone that's watching you or seeing it unfold knows fast, which is face, arm, speech, and time to call 911. After the stroke, I just felt like I lost everything. If you don't have purpose, you end up with no reason to fight. I am Angie Aparo, and all I wanted to do was sing again. Top of the second, getting ready to start right here. Uh, Mackenzie Nance will start us off in the batter's box to start this uh, second inning on this gorgeous Thursday, softball Thursday, we're going to call it. Yeah. Day. A little bit of sunshine starting to peek through the clouds here, but it's yeah. still a, it's a beautiful evening for yeah. the sport. Dave Adams along with Devin Combs and the crew, and we're glad to have everybody along uh, watching softball, YouTube, Facebook, or right there on the cable, Hometown 24. And, uh, you know, Devin, Hometown 24 and TVS does a lot of service for the community sure and do. helps a lot of kids and people out, no question about it. And they're glad to be here to uh, help share these moments with these youngsters. Mackenzie Nance stepping in. As Sandlin's on the mound, we'll get ready for the uh, top of the second right here from the Harold E. Combs softball field. Sandlin gets ready, brings the heat, and it's low and away. That one just about off the foot there. <laughs> yep, close. Oh and one, or one and oh, I should say. Second pitch getting ready. The infield playing it straight. And there's the ground ball. And Baker lets this one go. And Baker, two errors, one in each end. And, and that's uh, something you don't see a whole lot. Baker having uh, one of those games. Yep. A little bit of a rough start here, but. Yep. Up to bat will be Olivia Frazier for the Cougars. Frazier stands in there as Sandlin brings the heat, and there's the ground ball. Hall gets it over the first, got the out, and uh, Nance will go down to second as we have one out in the inning. Madison Parsons will come up for her first bat. Hall have enough. Good defensive game for the Patriots. Made two yeah. plays so far. 
A lot that of balls is. heading towards third base here. Yeah. Parsons. Sandlin brings it. It's bonded. Sandlin will pick it up. Go to first. We got two down. Nice play by Sandlin. Good bump by Parsons. Madougal will come back up. Abigail Madougal. That's going to advance the runner to third, too. So, runner yeah. in scoring position here. Yeah, dangerous. absolutely. And uh, Nance is right there to make the challenge if she gets an opportunity. Pitches a strike on the corner for 0 and 1, 1 to nothing, top of the second from the Harley Combs softball field. Sandlin on the mound, brings the heat and hits low and away. And they throw gonna make a quick throw yeah. third, yeah. Yep. Brooke Mason, the catcher for the Patriots, uh, good arm and can, yeah. a good athlete can throw that ball. Nance wasn't going to take any chances. She dodges that. There's the pitch on the outside corner, and we're one and two, and now you may see a little mix here, yeah. Devin. Chance to get out of this one. Yep. McDougal. Eyes in. Here's Sandlin, and the ball's hit, and it's a base hit. A nice piece of hit. And that's going to score Abigail another run McDougal. here as well. Yep. And they got a play, but they're not going to get her. Yes, they, they do. They do. Get her. They get they her. Tag her on the yeah. Arm. Yep. But the Cougars, before they out at second, gets that run, and they go to two and zero against the Patriots. We'll be at the bottom of the second when we return on Hometown Twenty Four. Over. Can't five five. All right. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother. I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at the shelterpetproject.org. Bottom of the second, coming up for Knott County Central. First baseman uh, getting stretched out here. That is uh, Connolly. And uh, I'm looking for some uh, mixed yeah. things coming out of Coach Sandlin here. He's been talking on his club. And to be honest with you, Devin, the biggest thing in this uh, game right now infield fundamental plays have not been made so yeah. far they've two errors and uh, you know uh, you look at the errors where they're coming from and uh, you just don't normally uh, have those errors at that position Brooke Mason the catcher will get ready to bat and uh, strong hitter in uh, the outfield, believe it or not, oh, yeah. is just playing midway with her. She's got strength in the uh, infield, squeezed in a little bit at third. The pitch is a strike. 0-1. Oh yeah, you can hear that call all the way across the ballpark. That yeah. was down the pipe. I think uh, Johnson was challenging Mason right there. Second pitch. Sandlin turns, and it's... Right there, and Mason will start this as the first uh, base hit for the Patriots. Nice, and a nice shot, hit. Yeah. Very nice shot. Yes, indeed. Now you've got the uh, first baseman coming up, Katie Conley. Johnson's got nice motions on the mound. Her changeup is a very nice ball, and her, she can bring some heat when she pitches. Oh, yes. Runner on first now. Brooke Baker. Here's Baker, and the pitch is low in the way, and uh, she come at her of letting that go, Devin. Yeah. She was looking at it hard, but. Call strike one. Yeah. Next pitch, Johnson getting ready. And there's fouled back. 
and it's 0-2, and, and she's got herself uh, where she's got to really protect the plate, and Johnson's got herself where she might can throw a few balls out of the zone to see if she can get yeah. someone to chase. 0-2, no out so far, runner on first. Baker, Johnson getting ready, brings the heat, and there's a foul off by Baker. Harold Combs and Brian Napier is our two officials today. Uh, both of them are veteran officials. Yep, a lot of experience on the field. A lot right of now. experience on the field. We'll take a quick second to thank our sponsors for the evening, East Kentucky Chiropractic and ARH. Uh, absolutely. Baker, base hit, center, and Mason will move to That's second. That's a nice one. That is a nice hit by Baker. I thought... Johnson got to pitch up, maybe a little too comfortable for her, yeah, David. That's a very good move there. Yeah. C Katie Conley, our first baseman, over not central, and our pitcher is Miss Johnson for the Cougars. Yeah. And I, both of them, I look for this battle. Runner in scoring position now for uh, the Patriots. Johnson dismissed that if it yeah. missed. I mean, that was perfectly at the knees, but a little outside and one and O's the count. And she was ready for it too. She just walked off on that one. <laughs> Johnson gets ready, brings the heat, and it's fouled back. One and one. And with two runners on and a runner at second, she is eyeing. A good little spot here in the outfield. She's trying to plant that ball in. Absolutely. Not County, a runner Baker at first. Mason at second. Conley fouls the pitch back. And it goes to one and two on Conley. Still no outs. Still no outs. You know, uh, a hit here may get something going. They're down to nothing. Yep. And Cougars... Uh, their defense has been good so far here in the first two innings. Johnson on the mound, gets ready to bring her heat. Conley at the bat. It's hit deep to center. Center fielder will come in, make the play. Catches there, one down. Nice play. Uh, and the runners are going to hold here, yeah. Absolutely. That was McDougal, a center fielder out there, come in, made a great play, squeezed it after he hit the glove the, the way you're supposed to do it. Lace, Lacey Hall up, Hall the left fielder for Knott County. Johnson on the mound for the Cougars, brings the heat, and that's down the pipe for strike yeah. one. Well, you can hit, you can hear the ball and strike calls clear as day <laughs> here at the ballpark. You can when you just get that fastball. It seems like that glove pops, Devin. Johnson. Eyes catcher. Brings the play and it's going to be two on Lacey yeah. Hall as that one's right there to knee over the plate. 0-2. Oh now, let's see how Johnson handles this. Nance at third on defense. Getting ready. Fouled back. The at bat will continue. Yep. 0 oh, 2, 2 nothing. bottom of the second. And the Sun has decided to say hello to the ball game. Hey, I don't mind it a little bit right now because it was a little cool. You know, low 60s. We want to keep it about mid 60s if we can. At sub stars. The ball goes yeah. for it in the second out as Johnson gets her to chase the high pitch. Mason at second. Baker at first. Maggart, Addison Maggart will come up. The right fielder. Johnson gets on the mound, gets ready, brings the heat, and that is a strike. Yeah, called strike one. Yep. Outside corner, knee high. Johnson throws a lot of knee high fastball. She Hits that target well. Sandlin also likes to throw inside, outside, knee high. Mason's going to go down to third on the steal. Baker will move down to second. The catcher bopped the ball, yeah. and uh, it costed them one base to move around. And that 
changes the landscape of this at bat a lot. Yes, it does. You know, uh, look, you might see the Cougars pull the uh, third baseman in here to take anything away. And there's a strike down the pipe, and uh, it goes to one and two. And uh, Maggart has really got to protect the plate now. Johnson's yeah. been bringing the heat for the Cougars. Big pitch here. Johnson ready, fires it in, it's fouled back and we'll stay where we're at in the count at one and two. Two outs, Cougars leading two to nothing. Here on this Thursday high school softball. Cougars lead two to nothing here in the second inning. Congratulations, Al Sloyd College winning oh, yes. their district and uh, moving on to the College World Series. South Carolina starts May the 21st. We wish them the best of luck. And Maggart was late on that, and that's going to be the ending as Johnson gets the strikeout. And we're going to the top of the third. It's been all Cougar so far. 2 nothing. We'll be back. Hello, Kentucky. I'm Jason Glass, the Commonwealth's new Education Commissioner and Chief Learner. And these are some of the members of the Kentucky Department of Education Student Advisory Council. By simply wearing a mask, I can limit the spread of respiratory droplets, the main vehicle for transmitting the COVID-19 virus. To return to in-person in classes and to begin returning to a sense of normalcy, I'm asking you to please mask up, Kentucky. These may cause drowsiness. So until you know how you will react to the medication, do not operate heavy machinery. Like your car. Oh, totally. There's more than one way to be under the influence. Welcome back, top of the third right here on Hometown 24, getting ready to start. Cougars have a 2-0 lead. Sandlin will continue to be on the mound for the Patriots and uh, Devin so far in this game, a couple defensive errors I thought out of not yep. central helped get a couple opportunities for the Cougars. They took advantage of it and made the most out of it. And the Lady Cougars are making a lot of contact, too, and that's something that in this sport especially, it doesn't take a lot of contact to give yourself a chance at getting the base before the throw because yeah. it's, a, it's a lot shorter distance than you see on the baseball diamond. And uh, a lot of times uh, a play that we would see a, an easy throw out at first in baseball, you do not see that in yeah. softball. Chloe Wamper will stand in to lead off here. Autumn Wamper be behind her in the pitcher. McKenna Johnson will be behind her. And uh, Cougars uh, have been swinging the bat so far this afternoon. They've went after those strike pitches and, try and made contact. Sandlin. Getting ready, brings the heat, and it's low and away for ball, ball one. one yeah. Yep. Nice field here to play softball in. Very yeah. well, good infield, been maintained well. Nice grass on the outfield. Ball two as that pitch comes in low from Sandler. Sandler getting ready. Wamper gets her stats in the back. And there's the hit, and it's right up the middle. A nice piece of hitting by Chloe Wamper, and she gets on. Autumn Wamper will uh, come up, and then you'll have Johnson in the four spot to clean up. If she can reach. Sandlin getting ready. Hall, the third baseman, coming down a little bit. And there's the pitch. Gayhart to Baker for one and back to uh, the double play. Yep. Conley yeah. gets the, the catch, and Baker turns it over for two outs. A big double play, I thought. Yeah. Uh, Cougars helping that out a little bit, hitting it right to Gayhart. And Gayhart 
Nice turn around to hit Baker, and Baker on over to Conley for the play. Johnson, the pitcher, stands in. Nice hit, center field. She's going to reach her second hit of the game. Well, they wasted no time getting that pitch out at all. No, I she saw, barely had stepped into the box. One thing I've watched on both these pitchers, Johnson and Sandlin, they both pitch strikes. They, uh, you, you, you know, if they're throwing a high pitch or out pitch, it's mainly because they want to. They, they both can eye in on the plate. McDougal, Gracie McDougal comes up here, and that pitch looks low, and it is low. As far as I know, the umpire didn't raise his hand. That was a close pitch, oh, yeah. but it was can, a ball. You can hear when he calls a strike here. It, <clears throat> Got ball, ball two. two. Yeah, that one missed. I thought it sailed a little bit on her. She wanted it to break inward, and it broke outward. Pitch, fouled back. It goes to a two and one here in the top of the third. Johnson getting ready, infield, regular. And here is a tap down the first baseline, and that's going to be foul. And two and two now. Two and two gives your pitcher a uh, opportunity here, but now the batter uh, is going to have, Madougal's going to have to uh, protect that box, Devin. Yeah. Big pitch here. Hall. Throws it over to Conley, and that will do it for Letcher Central. We've played three and a half here at the Harold Combs softball field. Cougars, two, not counting nothing. We'll be right back. Bottom of the third coming up here from Patriot uh, Field. And uh, the Cougars have been able to uh, get a couple on the board, Devin, and Knott County last in and did threaten, had a runner at yeah. second and third, but could not, uh, as as Maggart, uh, could not get that hit, and Johnson got the strikeout. Mercedes Winfrey will, will lead off here for the Patriots and uh, you know you're bottom of third and you're down two to nothing you got to start making some noise yeah the Patriots really got to step up here yeah. but Johnson on the on the in the circle excuse me in the circle for the Lady Cougars she has been an absolutely amazing pitcher today and she has yeah. uh, shut down a lot of the Patriots attempts at getting into the scoring column and unless something happens to that shoulder it looks like yep. she's going to continue to give the Patriots trouble all evening Absolutely. But Johnson uh, does bring good heat. She's at the area and uh, the mound circle area. We've always known pitchers. Yeah, we're used to, to saying the mound, but it yeah. is the circle here. Yeah, they call it the circle, but we're going to call it the mound circle. How's that? <laughs> we want them to know she is there. Winfrey stands in as Johnson will get ready for the first pitch, and she brings a strike. On the corner. She doesn't miss the strike zone very no, often. No, she loves the outside corner. She likes it knee or just a tad higher. She likes to work in that area. Johnson gets ready again. Ball hit straight back to Johnson. She'll make the play on over there and get the job done. Nice throw over. Yep. 
We'll start back top of the order. It'll be Gayhart for Knott County. The second baseman for the Lady Patriots. Nance, the third baseman for the Cougars. One out, no runners on. Johnson brings heat, and she works the corner again for strike one. She's caught a lot of batters freezing up here today. She has. Yeah. Uh, I think the speed has fooled them. Yeah. Some. Gayart, second baseman. Johnson gets ready, brings the heat, and she fouls it back. That'll run the count to 0 and 2 very quickly here for the second batter for the Lady Patriots. Yeah. Now home field advantage, they will have an additional chance out in the seventh if the if they uh, are unable to tie it up or get the lead before then. 0-2 count. Gayhart hits that one to the short. Nice play and over the first, the easy out there. And that was a nice play by McDougal, Gracie McDougal, the shortstop. Nice throw over. Lady Cougars not wanting to give the Patriots much of a chance at a comeback no, here. No, the Coug uh, Patriots had a little rally going uh, the last inning, but was just not able to uh, come through with a base hit. And uh, Johnson's been able to close that. Two uh, outs, no runners on. Alley Hall, and there's a pop, and that's going to fall in for a base hit. Nice play by the shortstop of the Cougars. Give it a good effort, was McDougal, but. Uh, Desperately needed by the Patriots there. Yeah. Got two out, and still alive as the pitcher, Sandlin, will come up to bat. Her second bat. Bottom of the third. Two nothing, Cougars. Stands in to pitch and right straight to Madougal for out, and they're going to do it. Devin, every time the Patriots does have that opportunity, it seems like the defense just makes yeah. the play. 2 nothing, Cougars will be back. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. A place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between. We're committed to serving you with the latest technology. Whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. <laughs> At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth here. Uh, uh, top of the fourth, I'm sorry. The Cougars will get ready to stand in to lead this off, holding a 2 nothing lead. And, uh, Devin, uh, Johnson has been pretty good on the mound today, and I think Sandlin has been good on the mound. The defense yeah. just, you know, let two normal plays get by, and it's costed them uh, – well, it's cost them to be behind here and cause the Cougars have hit the, hit the softball. Yeah, a little bit hotter bats right now for the Lady Cougars, but the Patriots, uh, a 2-0 lead in softball, not by any means insurmountable. Anderson, step in for the Cougars. Reagan gets ready and she's behind on that swing and it's 0-1 as it outside corner with some speed. Top of the fourth, Harold Lee comes, softball field. Glad you're with us, hometown 24. A little bit, took something off that. It's going to be a foul ball. Nice change up there by Sandlin. And the count goes to 0-2, and, and you'll probably see Sandlin come in here with something higher, a little outside, yeah. to see if they can get Anderson to... Uh, To Try chase. To chase. Yep, no doubt about it. And there it was, and Anderson didn't bite. Yeah, she went low at it this time, trying to get that uh, golf swing out of her a yep. little bit. Now 
That time pulls the high. And the count's going to run two and two here. Sandlin on the mound for the Patriots. Baker, Can't the shortstop, four. pulling in just a tad on the pitch, and this one's fouled off. Hall is playing third, and Gayhart at second, but... Uh, most of the time you see the third baseman, especially a right-hander, is yeah. charging a little bit or stepping in, pulling in some. Anderson will say is at bat. And there's maybe just a barely tipped that one. Yep. You've got to stay alive. Yeah, I thought it was strike three. It looked very close, yeah. but she made just the tiniest bit yeah. of contact, enough to keep the at-bat alive. Yep. Yeah. Sandlin will get ready. Count full. And we walk. Oh, my. Had, a, had an 0-2 way to go, and Anderson battling back and gets to stay alive. Nance will come to bat. Seventh hitter in the lineup. Sandlin on the circle mound. <laughs> yeah. With uh with the infield playing regular and the pitch is low and goes inside. One and oh. A lot of uh, first pitch balls so far. Mm -hmm. Just very different pitching styles between the yeah. two pitchers today. Fouled back one and one here in the top of the fourth. <laughs> And it's been a battle. You've got two pitchers that's yeah. been throwing pretty good heat and really bringing it, and it's been a battle today for everybody that's been in the box. Here's the pitch, took some off, gets the base hit. Yep, that one right to left field, and they'll go ahead and cut her off here at second. Yep. And that's going to put two on yeah, for the Lady the Cougars. Yeah. Cougars runner at first and second and no outs. And now they've got something going again, uh, Cougars do. Frazier, eighth hitter in the lineup, Olivia Frazier. Sandlin brings it. Strike down the pipe, 0-1. It's a big swing out over there. Yeah, she's aiming. Yeah, she a lot of area out she there. Wants, she wants to get that high uh, fly ball out to the gap. Absolutely, she's wanting that big gapper, and that's outside. You put the ball in the gap right now, Devin, and you could possibly score two. It's yeah. scoring where it's at. I think a, a scoring one is almost a guarantee. Yeah, absolutely. Sandlin back on there, even count one and one. And there's the hit. Baker, a big play. This Over to Gayhart makes the second double. And save it first. Yep. Big play again out of Baker to grab that at the shortstop and get it on over to Gayhart. Yep. Get the force out and the tag out. Yep. Got two outs here in top of the fourth. Patriots, when they've been in trouble both times, they made the big double play. There's the pitch. And, and runner's going to break, yeah. You know, I thought that wasn't a bad throw by uh, Mason. I thought she had a good throw on it, but Baker seemed like dust in the eye and couldn't pick the runner up. Very aggressive Parsons. with the two outs as well. <laughs> yep. Parsons the batter. Madison part ninth batter in the lineup. And uh, that one's the ball. Ball two, matter of fact, two and oh. Sandlin gets ready, runner at second. And that ball's foul as she up to third baseline fouls it off. Two and one is the count, with runner on second, two outs, and some double plays have really gotten the Patriots out of some misses hey, here so they, far. They've come across with two of them, and they've been huge, no question about it. There's the hit, and it's going to be in the gap. We're going to have a play. Hall's got it. Not going to get it in. The Cougars going to get another point and going to be back safe to first. 
Parsons gets a big hit in this game so far. That puts a third run across for the Lady yeah. Cougars. Back top of the order, McDougal. Lady this Cougar dugout coming Abigail. alive after that one. Yeah, they are. They're fired up. Sandlin. And that's going to be foul, and their cameraman is about 10 or 12 feet away from that, that one. Was, that one was about as close as I've seen one I'm get going to be it. honest with you, Devin. I thought he should have given it an opportunity. He should have leaped yeah. for that and give it an opportunity. Well, the problem there is that he's about 12 feet off the ground. <laughs> and so if he goes leaping for it, that, the landing's a little tougher than it might look. <laughs> it may be. <laughs> oh. Two outs. 0-1, Sandlin brings the heat, and it's going to be right there in the gap area and another base uh, yeah, hit. Yeah, it's a shallow outfield. These shallow shots to out is, uh, yep. has been really tough yep. for not central. Wumper will come up. Chloe, second batter in the lineup. Cougars got it going here. Dunn got one in in the fourth, wanting more. There's the hit. Gayhart will make this play to first, and that's going to do it. Get them it. out of a jam there. But the Cougars get a nut and a cross to make it three. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. Patriots not on the board yet. We'll be back. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. MAV TV, Motorsports Network. If it has an engine, it's on MAV TV. Catch all the action from the mudslinging Lucas Oil short course off road races. The excitement of the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Thousands of horsepower pulling tons of steel. Watch it all on the only network dedicated to motorsports. MAV TV, Motorsports Network. Welcome back. Cougars leading 3 0 here in the bottom of the fourth. Johnson getting her warm ups in, getting ready to go. And uh, Devin, uh, Cougars, nice, some nice hitting there. Yeah. Two, two hits in the gaps and, uh, and, uh, in the alley, rather, and uh, they come up big and get add another run. And uh, if you're the Patriots, uh, you want the run total to stop for them because yeah. uh, it's going to get to the point, a run here, a run there, and you find yourself deep uh, late in the game. And aggressive base running from Letcher has paid dividends for them. Uh, even some <laughs> some uh, steals that, that maybe uh, a lot of coaches don't advise very much, but yeah. they paid off very well. Very aggressive base running. For Letcher. Looks like Brooke Mason, the catcher, will uh, lead us off. Brooke, a nice hit. Center field the last time up. On a 1 2 pitch. Umpire moves into position. Yep. Johnson on the uh, circle mound. You know we've renamed that. <laughs> But Mason gets ready to uh, stand in, and we're ready to go with a pitch up high to get a started ball one. And that's one of the few first pitch balls yeah, we've seen out yeah, of her. Yeah, Johnson has mainly been like Sandlin. Really, both pitchers have started off with the strike low and away. And that one's upstairs. Drops and, in, yeah. Yep, let her high, and the umpire says, well, I've got to give her this one, one and one, and if it's across that middle, that's where the power hitters like. Johnson, ready to go. Nance at third for the Cougars, and this one is outside. Alton. Yeah, I thought that one sailed on her, and she released it a little early, Devin, to be honest with you. Boy, the softball delivery is just an, an art form. It is indeed. Base hit, maybe. Nance no, says no. Yep. yep. Nance says, give me that. I want that. One out. Nice play by her. At second base for the Cougars, you got Parsons, who had a big hit. Left a while ago, got the run in. And up to bat for 
the Patriots will be the shortstop, Brooke Baker. Baker, this one's outside, doesn't fool her, and it's 0-1, or 1-0. and 0. Yeah. I, I, I don't know you, about the 0-1. You're getting there. Yeah. Johnson's trying to mix it up now a little bit on her on her first pitches. She's seen these girls a f couple times through the lineup now. Yep, there's a hard down the line, and the third base coach does not want to feel the ball. Why, yeah. I do not know. Let's but that one go. He lets that one go. So it's one and one, bottom of the fourth, one out. Nobody on right now for the Patriots. Baker wanting to get there. Johnson gets ready to bring the heat and does, and Baker fouls it off. One and two's the count. Coll from college baseball to high school softball. Yeah. In the world of sports. And this weekend we'll have some motocross on the air here on Hometown 24, 6 o'clock, the Taking Over Series from oh, the Isom Fairgrounds. Oh, okay. Don't miss that. Johnson brings it. It's up, and Baker gets it high in the shortstop. We'll do away that, McDougal. And uh, you can hit the softball or the baseball, Devin, and if you hit it at people, you usually end up not having a successful day. You want to make them work in the gaps in the alleys. Conley, Johnson on the mound. Conley, the first baseman, takes it low and away, and it's ball one with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. What would you think about Al Sloyd the other day's hitting? Good performance by them, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Took them a little while to find their rhythm. They found it late in the first game, took over, and then in the second game it was just – it was gangbusters from the start. I thought Mullins uh, from West Virginia, the uh, – Shortstop. I thought he was the big key in the ball game. I thought uh, I thought his homer completely changed the yeah. rest of the day. It, it kind of opened the team up. Yeah. Count one and one. Conley fouls this one off. One and two. Johnson on the mound. And the uh, Lady Patriot batters just having a, a hard time hitting Johnson. They are. She's mixed it up well, and her locations have been mixed up very well at all. She's been up at the letter. She'll drop to the knees and change it up. Here's the pitch, and there she goes above the letters yep. a little bit. Trying to draw that swing there. Yep, two and two count, and uh, that was not a bad pitch for the situation. No. Connolly likes that around waist or knee high. And she gets it, and she drives it, and it's going to be a base hit as nice Conley one drops in very will reach well. on. Nice swing by Conley and a good pitch by Johnson, really. I mean, it was in a good location. And once again, though, with two outs, Lady Patriots get on base, and there's not a lot of room to work for the, for the batters. No. Left fielder Lacey Hall will come up to bat. Got two down. Runner at first. Johnson on the mound. Hall oh, takes the ball as it keeps rising high when it comes across the plate. Runner on first. Yeah, it's Conley, the first base. She's got a nice swing. Uh, Conley does. Really swings well. Hall gets the pop-up. Johnson will make the play and hit her in the side here in the bottom of the fourth. We've played four complete here at Knott County Central. Three nothing Cougars. Mountains come to life. Rivers and lakes welcome you back. The open road calls. Kentucky is full of outdoor adventures and charming towns right here at home. Stay close, go far. Plan your getaway at KentuckyTourism.com. Wearing a mask cuts your risk of COVID by up to 65%. Your mask shields you, people at high risk, and essential workers and businesses. I wear my mask to protect my patients. I'm a teacher. I wear my mask for my students. I wear my mask to keep my customers safe. It's simple, it's the right thing to do, and it works. 
I may look healthy, but I'm battling brain cancer. I wear my mask for you. Please wear your mask for me. Top of the field, three nothing Cougars right here. San Lynn will finish her warm-ups. We'll be ready to go. And Devin, uh, again, the Patriots get the base runner and the Cougars make the defensive yeah. play. Cougars been able to hold the Lady Patriots at bay very well in this game. And uh, for the Lady Patriots, um, they're making contact a little bit off of Sandlin right now. But yeah, uh, what the the problem they're having is the infield errors right now. And so uh, some of these bobbles and, and yeah. uh, late passes or late throws, excuse me, are, are kind of throwing them off a little bit. And it's allowing these aggressive base runners from Letcher Central to take advantage. Autumn Wumper will stand in the third Batter in the lineup for the Cougars here in top of the fifth. Sandlin will be on the mound and brings it. And it's a fly ball. Hall may not get this, and she won't. Right in the gap. That's yep. a, that's a here double. Here she goes. Wumper will go to second. Shows good strength. And the outfield a little too close in, and she takes advantage yep. of that drive. So we've got a runner at second. That's Wampler on there on second now. Yeah. Wampler is a nice hitter, I'm yeah. telling you. Johnson, the pitcher. From the circle to the batter's box. Absolutely, and it's a foul ball. A little spin on that ball, take it back across the third Thought baseline. Thought for a second it was going to drop uh, fair. Yeah, absolutely. I see her old buddy out there, uh, Harold Combs, are making strikes and yeah. balls calling. Good to see him out there, too. <laughs> a very veteran coach and official. There's a hit ball. It's going to be in the gap. Oh, and right the Cougars the bats are burning right now. And they're going to wave one home here. Yep. They're going to put add another one on the board to make it 4 nothing Cougars here in the top of the field. Johnson, a huge hit. Yeah, got a, got, that was a hard hit ball. And we'll get a courtesy runner in yep. for Johnson. Gracie McDougal will come up. Pitch is going to be there for a strike. Knee high. And that'll be strike one here in the top of the fifth. No outs. And the Cougars have already added one this inning. Sandlin brings that. That's going to be popped up. Conley eyeing under it. And we'll make the play for the first out. Reagan Anderson will get ready for that. And Lady Patriots needed that out there big time. Uh, Letcher's starting to get a lot of momentum now. Every at bat uh, is looking dangerous. Yeah. Sandlin on the mound, brings the heat, and it's low. Ball one. Runner's going to break for yep. third. Yep. Just uh, Mason just did not get a hold of the ball or pick it up in time there. Cougars got another runner in scoring position. Fouled off. That's Kaylee Wright. Came in to run for Johnson. Designated runner. Johnson, uh, I, good strength on the yeah. mound and hitting. Sandlin getting ready. She's bringing some heat here. Balls to Baker. Baker's going to pick it up and make the play to first, but the Cougars, another run, yeah. and nice piece of hitting there, and uh, the Cougars have got a five spot on the scoreboard here in the top of the field. So a lot of insurance right now for yeah. the Lady Cougars. Sun starting Sandlin. to kick back out on the infield. Ready in the low pitch to Nance as she steps in. McKenzie, seventh batter in this lineup for the Cougars. Sandlin bringing it. Popped up. Will there be a play? Center this fielder coming in and caught. making the play. Nice play out nice there. Nice play. And that catch a nice catch by Mercedes Winfrey as she makes the catch
You don't need this on the field. You need skill. My friend looks at me and she goes, you're having a stroke. If you're having a stroke, hopefully someone that's watching you or seeing it unfold knows fast, which is face, arm, speech, and time to call 911. After the stroke, I just felt like I lost everything. If you don't have purpose, you end up with no reason to fight. I am Angie Aparo, and all I wanted to do was sing again. Mercedes Winfrey, a big catch there for the Patriots, the center fielder, to end that inning. And uh, nice hustle play by her. And Cougars get two more in the top of the field. And, uh, Devin, they keep chipping a little yeah. here, a little there. And you look up and you find out you're, you're down and you're down good. And you've got to make a move. Get two or three of these back if you can, if you're not county. And if you're the Cougars, you want them to just keep throwing strikes and playing defense. Now, Addison Maggart will come in, the eighth batter for the Patriots. We'll stand in the box and get ready to uh, go to work here and see what she can bring up, get her team rolling here, here in the bottom of the field. Johnson gets ready, and we're ready to go here in the bottom of the field. Throws a heater, and it's straight down the middle for a strike one. Well, that is just a, a beautiful pitch there. Yeah, that she likes to start the end and off. She throws a, a good heater, and it challenges you right off. Sort of like Sandlin. Sandlin's yeah. been doing that as well. Ground ball picked up, and a little bobble, and still makes Daughter, the play. Yeah. And uh, Maggart thought she had an opportunity there, but a nice play. By our shortstop, uh, Gracie McDoodle, and she, she gets a big play there, throw over to first. And uh, there's been a running pattern for the Lady Patriots. The first out has, has often come quick today. Yeah, Mercedes Winfrey, the center fielder, who just made that big play in center field run in and dive, gets her chance at bat with a ball one as it's low and away. One out, bottom of the field, five nothing Cougars. Johnson, eyes, brings it. Misses low, two and oh. And correct me if I'm wrong, but we have yet to see Johnson walk a batter today. We, she has not walked a batter today. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, She's uh, been right on target for the most part. Like I said, both pitchers have really thrown the ball well. The, de uh, the only difference I think in has been a few defensive plays early and then the ga the hitting in the gaps yeah. uh, in the fourth and fifth in and there for the Cougars. Winfrey. And that is a heater right yeah. there for a... Two ball, one, two strike count with one out. Two and two. Winfrey going to have to try to protect that plate, Devin, and see if she can get something going for the Lady Patriots as Johnson keep, continues to throw. Fly ball center, and that should be an easy one, and it is. And two down, nice play by uh, the Cougar center fielder. That's McDougal. She's Abigail, and... Uh, Abigail has played well today for the Cougars. Two quick outs here, and Lady Patriots are starting to run out of at-bats. Yes, they are, as uh, Gayhart will step in. Johnson will get ready. Johnson brings it. Gayhart swings, but no go. 0-1. Two outs. Bottom of the field, 5 nothing Cougars. Johnson ready to go. Base hit hard, uh, but it's going to fall to yep. the center fielder, and she's going to bring it in. McDougal does and makes that big catch. And we played five, headed to the top of the six, 5-0 Cougars.
to the top of the six. We go here at the uh, Patriot softball field. Five nothing lead by the Cougars and uh, Devin. Uh, Cougars, some key base hits when they need it. Yep. They've got a lot of contact and been able to capitalize off of it with a good aggressive base running. And maybe a few uh, infield errors from the Patriots as well. And on the Patriots side, they've just been unable to really make meaningful contact on Johnson. Yeah, Johnson, uh, both pitchers, I think, has had a good strike zone today. And, and uh, for, you know, fortunately for the Cougars, they've been able to take advantage of that. And, uh, and the Patriots, you know, they've hit some today, but they've been popped up or yeah. right at the defense. And, Which is uh, what you want as a pitcher. Yeah, you absolutely, know. you do indeed. Cougars uh, getting ready to go here, getting standing in, and that will be Frazier coming up to bat first for the Cougars to start this top of the sixth. Mason, catcher for the Patriots. Sandlin, the pitcher on the mound, and in the number six, top of the sixth, and we're underway. Fly ball. Could be a trouble. It's going and to it drop. Is, yep. Yes, nice play. They're nice play hitting out of Frazier. I thought that bat, I thought she didn't bring it around hard, Devin. She just brought it around and made good contact. And so far, that's been the biggest difference of the game. Every inning so far has started off with a quick out for the Patriots and a runner on for yeah. the Cougars. Parsons, pitch up high, ball one, and uh, – Frazier will stay at first. No attempt there. Sandlin getting ready for pitch number two. One and oh. Brings it. Nice pitch. Gayhart makes the play. A line drive there by Good catch. Carson. Yep, makes the play. And. And. Yeah, the, the runner is. Let's see here. There's a call at second. The runner at second will be out. Yeah, she's forced out. Yeah. And uh, wasn't, the, wasn't the ball caught? I thought the ball was caught. I uh, The ball was caught, I was thinking. So I guess they're saying it bounced. I guess so. Okay, well. So, so there's still an out on the board. Yep. Up to bat. Uh Abigail McDougal, she's the center fielder. And I believe, I think the runner at second thought the ball was caught as well. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I thought it was caught. Hall knocks it down, but won't have a play. Nice piece of hitting there and a nice defensive play by Hall to keep that from going to yeah. the outfield. It's going to put two runners on now and one out. Looks like... Uh, Runner at first, second. Sandlin on the mound. Wamper will get ready here. Chloe, here's the fly ball, and Hall will eye this one left fielder and make the catch and get it in. We got two down as the runners uh, stay at first and second. Yeah, they, they hold them on first yeah. and second here. Autumn Wamper will get up here. Nice hit the last time, Devin. Yeah. Left field about uh, ten feet from the out of out of the part out of the fence area. Yeah. To be honest with you, so uh, she has good strength, and I think you're going to see the Patriot defense in the outfield stay back a little like they are now. Ball that gets, gets away, gets from, away yeah. yeah, from Mason, and they're going to get over here on the base. Everybody takes one base ahead. Second and third now, and uh, some pretty scary runs on the board for the Patriots here as the Cougars could be looking at a yet another score yeah. off of a clean base hit. Yeah, Autumn gets a hit here. You're going to, uh, it's going to be trouble for and sure. And that one's going to be popped up. Conley and makes. Yeah, it's playable and they get the out. Yep, Conley makes the play and it, five nothing Cougars, bottom of the six. We'll be back. Thacker Grigsby is constantly working to bring the latest technologies home. Home, where we live and work. 
a place we want to see grow and prosper. From Jackson to Heinemann and everywhere in between, we're committed to serving you with the latest technology, whether it's faster broadband, more video choices, or the latest voice services. Thacker Grigsby with our fiber network can provide the latest ways to stay connected, informed, and entertained. At TVS Cable, we are committed to providing you with the best broadband available. Whether that be through expansion of our fiber to the home facilities, new builds into previously unserved areas, or by launching DOCSIS 3.1, the latest technology in cable broadband. TVS Cable has always changed with the demands of Eastern Kentucky, and we will continue to make investments in our area because we care about Eastern Kentucky. It's our home too. Welcome back to the softball field here at North County Central. Getting ready for the bottom of the sixth. It's been all Cougars across the plate today. They've got five there. Not County yet to cross. Leading up for Not County, starting the inning off will be Hall, the third baseman for uh, Allie Hall, the third baseman for uh, Not County Central. Johnson is started on the mound and she has stayed there as uh, mixed her pitches well and has had a brilliant, brilliant performance so yeah, far very and good. I have to say I think Sandlin's had a good performance didn't defense didn't make some plays early and I thought that was uh, really the difference to help the Cougars get started as we head now into the sixth the penultimate inning of the game yeah very impressed with the pitcher Johnson her strength uh, uh, she really put some heat on it Allie Hall out to bat for the yeah. Lady Patriot. Her and Sandlin both have really hit that outside corner a lot today. Hall's this one straight back and not going to be able to make yeah, a play as a catcher. So. Yep. 0 oh 1 is the count. Start things off for Miss Hall. Oh, absolutely. What a perfect day for softball. Right temperature, no doubt about it. Yeah. Johnson gets ready, hauls in the box. Infield, regular. Third baseman has come in a few steps, and there's the pop. It looks like the yeah, first baseman will play. make the play and uh, have the first out as Migert will get ready to come up. Now I'm going to take that back. That should be Sandlin, the pitcher, coming up. Getting ahead of myself just a little bit there, David. We gotta let Miss Sandlin bat. She's pitched today. It's she only did. right. Gonna do all kinds of work out it's here. It's only right. One out. Bottom of the sixth, and the pitch right there on the corner. Well, that first pitch For strike is just a thing of mm -hmm. beauty. Sandlin, a good hitter as well as a pitcher. Her and Johnson both handles the bat well. So, watch for Sandlin to. Uh, be competitive here with Johnson. Johnson, nice pitch, and makes a nice play defensively as well. Ball hit back to her. Two out. Two One out away outs, from yeah. starting the big last inning, Devin. Only four outs left now yeah. for the Lady Patriots, yeah. and they got to get five runs at least to extend this game. Brooke Mason, the catcher, getting set. Brooke knows she's uh, she's got to get something going here yeah. because, like you mentioned, they're running out of outs. Johnson gets ready. Brings a heater right to knee. Another uh, first ball strike. Yeah. Yep, 0-1. Johnson. Johnson. Mason's in the box. There's the swing, and Johnson will make the play, and an easy toss over to the first. And one, two, three, we go here in the sixth. Top of the seventh coming up, 5-0 Cougars. TVS Cable has everything you need to stay entertained. Video services with all your favorite channels and local sports on Hometown 24. Ask about digital voice service for home and business. High-speed internet so you never fall behind in a game. There's something for all ages. We've got you covered. 
Sit back and enjoy everything TVS has to offer. Stay connected with TVS. MAV TV, Motorsports Network. If it has an engine, it's on MAV TV. Catch all the action from the mud-slinging Lucas Oil short course off-road races. The excitement of the Lucas Oil late model dirt series. Thousands of horsepower pulling tons of steel. Watch it all on the only network dedicated to motorsports. MAV TV, Motorsports Network. And welcome back to Knott County Central softball field area. I want to thank Knott County Central for letting hometown 24 come in, do the game this after, afternoon with the Cougars and the Patriots. Uh, we appreciate that when we travel around to uh, Whitesburg, uh, to Hazard, to Jackson, to Hyden, all these places. We really appreciate it. To Buckhorn, uh, Prairie Central. We oh, appreciate yeah. all of them Corey that hometown well. come in and uh, share the sports scene with them. For the Cougars, it'll be Johnson, the pitcher, leading it off here in the uh, top of the seventh. And uh, if you're Cougars, if you can add some, it'll be fine. If you can't get ready yeah. to play defense in the bottom here with the Patriots, only three outs remaining. So uh, five runs is not as much as it looks like on the softball scoreboard, but no. it is a good, healthy lead with some it, insurance. Uh, it's a good cushion, I tell you that. Uh, especially uh, if you if your defense is playing well, it's. It helps, don't it, Deb? Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Johnson stands in, saddling on the mound, and there's a ground ball. Conley will pick it up and make the play to Gayhart for the first out. One down. McDougal, Gracie McDougal will come up. And how about the reaction time there from the infield all over that one? Because yeah. those can be tricky in the softball. Yeah, that was a good play by the second baseman, Gayhart, right there. Sandlin brings some heat on the inside and uh, tipped off. Yep, fouled back. Owen, uh, Owen won to get us started. Second pitch, getting ready to go here. And hits straight up, and Mason may have a play at this, and Will and makes the play for the second out. Brooke Mason, the catcher, second out there, and coming up. Yeah, not Central trying to get the Cougars out of here without putting too any more on the board. So. Yeah. Looks like uh, Reagan. Anderson gets ready, and that's fouled off. 0-1, oh and, and I heard a little ping right yeah. there in the parking lot. That is that is spring sound right there yeah, at there the baseball park. Don't park at the baseball park <laughs> if you don't want your vehicle to get hit, and don't back in at the baseball park. Absolutely. Keep that windshield away from the balls. Absolutely. Sandlin. Ground ball to Hall at third, throw over to Conley, and that's going to end the side for the Cougars. Three up, three down. Yep. We're going to be starting the bottom of the seventh when we come back. All Cougars, Patriots last shot.
if the Cougars hang on here, McKenna Johnson will be her, no doubt, player yeah. of the game. Uh, I think she has mixed it well there, pitched well. Cougars have hit the ball, played good defense. We could pick uh, three or four players off this team, player of the game, but uh, I thought her pitching today, uh, location, her speed, her off speed was huge in this yep. uh, softball game. Not that Sandlin didn't pitch well. I thought she did pitch well. I thought the Cougars had three hits that were huge, but I also thought the defense early normally makes those easy plays, yep. didn't make them. So. so three outs left for the Patriots, and Brooke Baker will yep. start things off. Baker the shortstop. One hit so far today on a nice one, and this one's popped over first, over the dugout, and on uh, no the, play. Yeah, on top of the building there. Yeah, 0 and 1 to her. Bottom of the seventh, 5 nothing Cougars. Five runs or three outs will end the, yeah. either end the game or extend the game. Absolutely. Here's a shot, and it's going foul. 0-2 to Baker. Towards a couple of expensive cameras on a blue rooftop over here <laughs> in the beautiful Hindman, Kentucky. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> Please don't hit the camera. Johnson on the mound, 0-2 count. Look for this one out of the zone a little bit. And Baker Contact. gets a hold of it. Straight center. McDougal will bring it in out there and... Uh, We've got one out to start the bottom of the Sabbath. Quick out there. I thought that was and, a good and pitch. That, that's to been hit, a pattern, though, though for yeah. the Lady Patriots so far. Yeah, I thought that was a good pitch to hit, though. And a nice job by Johnson, but Baker just a little bit under that. Conley, first baseman for the Patriots. Starts out with a corner strike, and it's 0 1 here in the bottom of the seventh. Well, Johnson has locked into the strike zone early on in this game, and she has never lost sight of it. Nobody on. Johnson bringing the heat, and that one's high, and Conley says, I'm going to try, and it's 0-2. It's going to take a little lap around the uh, batter's area here and clear her mind a little bit, knows that there's only two outs and uh, five runs that have to be scored at least to extend the game. Fouled off. She took something off that one. Yeah. Oh, and two the count. One out. No runners on here, and <coughs> two outs is all the hope the Lady Patriots have coming away with a win at home here today against the uh, probably their closest rival in the district and the region. Ursa fastball, and it's going to ring her up. She let that one go, and it was at the knee outside corner, and that's two away here in the bottom of the seventh. I thought that was too close to take, but Johnson did put some extra heat on that one, and yeah, I thought did. Conley might have thought it was telling outside. Lacey <clears throat> Hall steps up. She could be the last batter for the Lady Patriots here. Want to thank everyone for joining us today. Strike one pitch right here on Hometown 24. We hope you've enjoyed this high school softball sports. Yeah. Johnson has been ice cold today in the circle. There's a ground ball. Johnson will pick it up, throw over, yeah, and that's, that's going game. to do it. And uh, a nice outing for Johnson and uh, Patriots just not hitting uh, some of the gap areas on Offense today, Devin, and this didn't happen for them. Well, we hope you've enjoyed us right here on Hometown 24. The Cougars, a 5-0 win right here at Knott County, and that's going to do it for the Hometown crew. Josh Cornett over there, we want to thank all he does. He keeps everybody in line. Devin Combs been with help today, and I'm Dave Adams. 5 nothing win for the Cougars. We'll see you next time on High School Sports. Have a good evening, everyone. <laughs>